Hey guys, we are back with my hostage taker deck. Um, I'm just getting a good feel of it. Like the theory in my head seemed to plan out that last game. Um, so if you haven't seen it, check out my last video. It was, it was pretty good. It was definitely what I want to call the hostage taker. And okay, here we go. It's pretty. Yeah, got some. Just got the meta figures. So let's see how this deck stacks up against it. Um, I like ho -Oh, and ho -Oh doesn't get good enough love, so let us see, let us see what we can do, uh, probably have to enter with Coco, he's probably going to go with his, and then, and then, we are going to be, I'm not quite sure how I want to set this up actually, possibly get my clear out, or... Or maybe I should go with uh, Verizian again, like I did last time. Or just get it later. He's got X attacks, hurdle jumps. Okay, so I've got to watch out for his little hurdle jump shenanigans. Um, I'm just going to get my Glade out. Let's do this. Uh, double hurdle jump. I wonder if that's going to be prevalent in this next gym. I have a feeling it might be. So, my opponent. The thing I also like about Glade is it's 110. The, the the swapping, I love that. I love that they've finally got a good one. That's not, that's not like a 40 damage like Ninjask. That only if it survives, then you can swap out. Now this this can actually survive. So I want to go for that Verizian. Either swap spot or just knock it out. That's what I'm looking for. So damage on his gold or... Uh, a miss will do. A miss will do indeed. So now... Depending who, I've got a fairly decent matchup against most of what he's got. I haven't got any levels into, okay, X speed. So I can either get my 40 into his 20, or my purple on his white, or just the 100, 101 in the 100. <laughs> or a miss, or a miss is a good opportunity. Um, I'll take it, I'll take the miss. I'll definitely take the miss. And then... I can potentially go up and if he gets another Mon out, I can go up and attack Coco with a Mew with Coco. So, okay, he sees that and moves it back. That's that's fair enough. But I want to move up so I can either take his entry or attack Mew. So he's got to do something. One of the, one or the other. He's got to either go defensive in case I knock out Mew. He's got to um, bring another Mon out just because this might be his last chance. So, all right. Right, he's just going straight for with the the mute. I guess he's looking to hurdle jump. But oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Teleport is nice. Teleport is nice, and that is just going to help me. I really wish I don't even even have it activated yet. But I will get my Mega Gengar out now. If I had my <laughs> my Muscle Sphere on, that would have been a hostage taking right there. But my opponent would move too fast for me. So. I am just going to take this with Glade, and he really should have got his Dio out. There was, n I suppose he's going for the the Ho -Oh Rainbow Wing, but yeah, that that is just this, this is not not a very good uh, look for my opponent. Let's just say that, and moves the Ho -Oh down, and I'm just going to drop my Krillia in front of it, um, because even if he hurdle jumps or Rainbow Wings, then I'll be able to surround him. So I'll just leave my Gengar there, and then I can muck around with my Coco, or get my Poliwhirl on the board, um, and put the pressure on him. He should really be trying to knock out my Glade, um, either making it Teleport, or getting a 70 and just wasted his own. And let's get my Evo Glade out. I, I actually really like Krillia for Evo Glade. Um, like... Super, super super decent Mon to Evo, and now I'm probably going to chuck some Carmonite into my Krillia, and I've got a reason to, that I actually want to get Evos from it. So, um, he's got to win a whole lot of rolls here, and he doesn't. So, oh, he has a Shadow Flip though, so that's, he's going to defend himself. And rather than me, rather than me trying to go and set up a surround, I... I, I I want to let him come off, and if he doesn't get another Shadow Flip, I'm going to win no matter what. So I'm just going to activate my Mighty Sphere, and which I would have loved to have in the beginning, and then take some hostages. But 
Eh, my, my opponent lost his Leah and then he just made terrible decisions after that. Um, so maybe he got tilted as people would call it. But to be honest, you can't let things like that get to you. You've got to be ready for a comeback. And there we go. There's the Coco. I cannot take gold with Coco, but... I do have my Mega Gengar, and he's got plates to burn, so I'm not going to stall him out. And I can't get a weight win until he burns both of his X attacks. So I do... Don't, people don't like it sometimes, and say you're bad moving them, but... If, if, if you are guaranteed a weight win, I think there's nothing wrong with not taking goal. It's when you have to make them burn two turns of plates is when it gets boring. And just no point. Um, so there we go, first win wasn't that spectacular to be honest, it was just my opponent played very poorly and I got a couple of very fortunate rolls I must say. Um, so, but th this deck seems viable, definitely seems viable. Um, so let's jump into one more, I've got one more for my, my end of day booster, so let's do this, let us get my end of day booster and let's see what I can do. Um, I, I like it though. I, I really like the synergy of the deck that I've had so far. I quite enjoy running Verizian for my first time ever. And it's nice. I like it. It's a, it's a super, super good mod. Even in this current meta, I can see why Gig always runs it. Because it's, it's always going to be relevant. It can move under things. It's got a Grass Knot for super high damage. It's got that Typhoon Slash. Four mons that four mons that aren't Leo or Lunala. Um so it's it's gonna be a good one. So here we go. Out into another one. Peter Mr Peter. Um ooh going for the freeze deck with the I'm guessing that's gonna be Evo Glaceon. So I kind of <laughs> I really wanna just run up and attack it with Coco but like my opponent's last turn that just lost because of a miss from Coco and a Leo. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to throw my Krillia in front. Hopefully I can get an easy Evo from that Eevee. And whether it be... So this is my Krillia. I'm level 4. I can easily take it to level 5. And then I might even take it to level 10. Just take away all that miss. And even take a couple of notches down on that Moongeist. Moonbeam. Not Moongeist. Uh... But anyway, let's get my Glade on the board, let's get some things set up, and it's going to be interesting to see how well this does against a Freeze deck. Um, and a pretty, okay, a pretty decent opponent, similar to me, he must be running fun decks at the start of the month. But it's still a decent, very viable deck, and you've got to be, you've got to be smart with his deck. And you've got to be able to lure your opponent into certain situations to make them attack, so you can freeze them, so you can banish them. It's all about that. So let's just discourage him from coming forward with that Articuno. Um, Sableye is going to be dangerous though. Sableye is not my favourite matchup for a lot of my mons. Um, so let's just see. Let's get an Evo here. If I can keep some pressure on him, I'll take that. I'll take that switch. Um, and, oh, I get the switch as well. So that is actually going to be good for me. So I'm now going to switch for my Verizian. And I can get out my get out my glade, and then I can throw my glade in front of my his sableye, and that is actually going to be a decent matchup for me because I don't mind being confused. Um, that is nice. I'll I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. So, what I'm going to do now? Do I? Oh, I need to set up my hostage taking. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to get out my Evo glade, and then I can use my plate. And then I want to look to start taking some hostages. So let us see how my opponent wants to do this. I'm just going to drop my Gengar. I probably don't need to drop my Gengar, but I don't want my Poly Wrath, Poly Whirl, getting, getting damaged or getting taken out. So right now I'm just going to drop my Mighty Sphere. Now that I'm in a place, and then I can start trying to set up some surrounds. And let's just showcase this. Let us just... This is the hostage taker deck. Let's take some hostages. That, that's what. That's what. That's all what I'm about. So I'm gonna try and move him up. Then potentially, if he moves one of his mons from that top corner, one one of his corners has to go. One of his mons has to be moved. And if he moves one, I'm gonna swap spot and take a hostage. 
Okay, or we can move back. That, that is a good play. That is a very good play for my opponent. So I'm just going to see if I can take out this um, Eevee now. Oh, no. <laughs> I really need to land land miss or 20 by then. Um, and that is why some people say uh, Verusian isn't relevant. Because it does have a 40, and it is rather easy to take out four Evos and things like that, since there are a lot of Evos these days. But that, that Glaceon, Evo Glaceon, <laughs> oh, Verizion. Um, but, um, well, I shouldn't have made that attack. <laughs> I'm going to have to defend with Coco, either on goal in front of him, or just try and lure him somewhere. So he's got no hurdle jumps, so that is alright. And now he's not threat I'm not threatening a surround with my Coco, so I kinda have to get my other ones into a better position. So he cannot surround me. Maybe I go up and attack with my my Glade or I'm not sure. I want to try and set up surrounds. That's what that's what I want to do. It's, it's all about taking the hostage. If I can take take two mons hostage, I can get a free max revive for my Verizium. And he's got two mons soft banish. Well, what I want to call a soft surround banish. Um, but let's see if I can surround this Glacier. I want to set up some surrounds and see if I can get one to pop on off. And let's let's do this. So should I attack? I think I probably should attack. I'd like to attack, but if I got my 80 on his 90, that wouldn't be good. But everything else will be okay. Although he could freeze me, and that wouldn't be okay. So, I, I, playing against Ice Decks, you do have to be smart. So, you, you, it's a whole lot more strength, but that also works to my advantage with this current deck. Um, I've got a surround set up now. Okay, he sees it. But now what I can do also is I can step down. I could have done this before with um, my Gengar. Got got let off the hook there, um, but now I'm not in danger. If I get frozen, I can unfreeze myself, and I'm not in danger of getting banished. So I'm just gonna try that again, one more time. Just get a knocked out. I need to knock out two of his mons, and then I need to take two hostage. There we go. There's one. Um, but Gengar versus uh, Glaceon is a good matchup. Mm, two both two star purples. Oh right. Alright, this is going to be interesting now. So he's now going to be threatening me, he's going to surround my Poliwheel. I don't want to let that happen, but I've got to also defend against that. Um, I don't want to match revive. What, but what I can do is move my Poliwheel up. X speed is a good matchup for my Poliwheel versus, um, versus his Sableye on my turn because he's got to roll Mist to knock me out. And everything else I'm going to knock him out. Unless I got my hypnosis, that was a bad roll, but there we go. So now, I've got my Polyrath on the board. Polyrath, here we go. Um, and now it's another fighting, so I can get more surrounds. Um, he does have he does have a counter-attack, so I'm not going to fall for a counter-attack bait. So, counter-attack. He's trying to bait me to take his entry. Um, so what I'm going to do is now, what am I going to do, I want to, I want to pressure up so I can take his entry, but I also want to set up some surrounds, so what I'm going to do, step back, step in front of his, um, his Articuno, Let's try to set up a surround, and then if I can get up a, a surround set up, then I can take him hostage, get my mons back, make him so he's only got two mons on the board, so this is going to be a while of stepping around, and because he's in an ice deck, is that he's going to want to do that anyway. He doesn't want to attack on his own turn where I can unfreeze myself. Although, if, I, if it was me, I definitely would be doing that right now because he's already extra mon down. Cycling him on is not going to hurt. Whereas, I'm now going to put him in some bad positions. Alright, so he's going with Articuno. He's he's going. I could Mega Gengar, hold him there, and then go for a surround. But I want to see if I can do it without having to Mega. Because then, now I can either... If, if he doesn't knock me out, Okay, I can max revive and surround him, but I also want to get my free max revive from getting a muscle energy surround, and I will be able to take him with that Verizion, but I want to try and keep it. So, 
I'm just gonna pressure, pressure one more turn, and then try and make it so I can then surround him and take take him away. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have just taken the opportunity while I had it with the Verizian, and now I've got two mons in the PC. So that was not good, not good at all. Um, yikes. So that that was a kind of just a wasted time. And now he sees that he sees the match revive and the the thing. There's no point in attacking for him. So right now I've got to play a whole lot smarter, and I've got to. I've got to, I've got to do it, man. Oh, see, I burnt my chance getting that free hostage taking surround with Verizian. And now, because of it, I've put myself into a dangerous position. So I want to see if I can knock him out here. And I want to get a knockout. There we go. That is good. That Night Slash 110 is amazing. And being able to swap from Sonic on your bench, I've got so many decks to try with it. Um, I don't mind Glaceon coming back out on the field, so I'm just going to now block off that um that uh la, 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 la. <laughs> so we can once more see if i can set something up with that glaceon i want to hold something hostage is what i need or just knock it out again so although if i get frozen on my own turn that is not going to be good and i can't let my glade get frozen so Oh man, I'm just in a bad position. All because I didn't want to use my Max Revive but earlier. Now I've got to do it now for a not good payoff. And now it's just... I'm, I'm sitting up the same as I had last time. And... Ooh. I'm just going to try not another knockout. Get another knockout and then I can swap spot up into the corner. Take his corner. And then potentially take a Mon hostage if he doesn't knock anything out. Now, is that the best play to do? No. No. Um, because uh, he'll probably better knock me out easy with my Coco. But I want to get into a position where I can get a lot of muscle surrounds. So, he's got nothing there. If I get frozen, I'm just going to... Okay. I don't even get frozen. That is, that is amazing. Um, and now, I'm pressuring him. If he comes out and tries to status me my Polyrath or my Glade, no. he would have got surrounded or take him hostage and it will be all about that but now I'm just gonna get another hostage situation all up and ready and he is now turtling, I've got one minute left taking these strategies, making these strategies I must say takes a lot of time um, and I want to try and hostage take, there we go doesn't attack? I'm, I'm taking that I am taking that, I'll get my Verizian back, suicide there we go, Coco out, and I get my Verizian back. Definitely worth it. He's down a Mon. I'm up. I've got my Mon back. I can get my Verizian out. And this is this is a good, definitely a good trade off for me. And that's that's one thing I love about this deck. Um, and I'm I'll, I'll just be I should be able to cause a whole lot of pressure. And even if my Mon gets frozen by Jatini, I should. Okay, he's just gonna turn. So he's just gonna try and wind me up my town my time now. So. Um, I've got a swap spot, I've got a double chance. I want to see if I can just n either knock him out or get a uh, slash and then surround him. So surround him and own surround or get his mon. So, oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, well, I probably shouldn't have done that on the giant purple. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, lucky, I got lucky. That could have easily been a knockout and he would have got his own mon back. So I probably should have been doing that on Dratini. But I wanted to get a surround and then take his mon and then just make it all about that hostage taking situation. Um, but now I can Mega Gengar and take hostages as well. So I'm, I'm just going to get myself into a position where if he if I, he has an open goal one more time, I should be able to try and take it or I, I should have many options. So what I'm going to do is see if I can attack this Dratini. If I can knock it out, then... Okay, weight is not bad. I can potentially get a weight win too. Man, there's there's so many winning. I I love making decks with so many win conditions. Um, take their mons, give the mons that are left weight. He's got to burn some plates for the next turns. And if I can if I can knock out that Dratini, and even if I get frozen, he can't unfreeze me, and he can't go to banish me because 
yeah so i'm either looking for another purple for me or white on white that's what we're looking for <laughs> not that uh, yeah so it would probably be smart for him to take the dragonair option right right about now um but i've only got 20 seconds left i have to get my gengar back up there and is he gonna attack no he not attacking is not doing anything for him. I probably should have moved my uh, my Verizian over though. But I want to see if I can do this with my Gengar one more time. Get some hostage taking action happening. If he moves his Mon either side, I'm taking one of them hostage. Alright, it's happening. If he doesn't attack me, it's happening now. So, 11 seconds. Can I do this? Come on. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 7 seconds. 7 seconds. Man, that burned 5 seconds. And I just need to jump on goal. Come on, jump on goal, jump on goal. Let's do this. Don't run out of time. Oh, don't click on my Gengar. Six seconds. All right, take another one hostage. That was worth a Mega Gengar. I'll definitely take a hostage, Mega Gengar for a hostage any day. Got my Coco back. Doubles, doubles around. I'm going to get my Coco back running up, or maybe I'll just go with Verizian. All right, Verizian, let's do this. Attack. If I get my purple on his white, it's a game for me. Ah, oh, his purple. All right, now I'm paralyzing. That's gonna make, if I get my 100, I win. If he wants to attack me, or I can surround him. I've got three seconds, I've gotta do this fast. <sighs> Man, this came down to the one for now. I've gotta get faster. I've, I've got the strategies down though, from these two games that I've played. But, if I get purple, I win. All right, now that's a loss for him. That's a loss for him, and now I just need to take goal. Boom, one, oh, come on, come on, go, go, go. <sighs> oh. Wow. Wow. It takes me too long to do that. Three seconds, right on the zero, zero. Boom, what a win. What a win. Um, hostage take a dick. Take them hostages. Uh, muscle sphere for the win. Definitely, definitely this is going to be a viable deck. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I have a feeling there are going to be some other people out there who are going to be make, wanting to make this deck now. Uh, really in a close Butterfree. I'll take them all. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think of this deck, this, the muscle energy, the, the glades, all of that. Um, Polyra, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on my deck, on the mons, on these figures. Is this going to be the new meta? Have I just made a new meta deck? Let me know down below. Love to hear from you guys, as always, thank you for the support, and definitely tune in, more decks to come, more games to come, and definitely going to be testing this some more, as well as some more new decks, so stick around, thank you all, we'll see you all soon.